Hello YouTube. Okay, so today we're going to pit these two things against each other using that see which one foams better. I was coming from a gas pressure washer and I just want more foam. I just I just want to achieve the foam that I got in my past videos. So that's what's coming up next. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome to the video. So how does this thing work? We have water coming in, we have soap being sucked here through this regulator here. You have how much uh, foam you want. If you wanna dial it in to and then it comes out using the spray pattern that you want. Okay, so what dictates the foam? I think it's a mixture. I think it's a mixture of the right pressure and the right um, GPM. So for this video, we have one that I had originally. This is just a China-made foam cannon. Look at that well-made thing. All that corrosion there, perfect. This one's outfitted with a detailed image 1.1 orifice. That's the stock orifice that it came with. This is the 1.1 from the MTM Hydro from Matt. Labeled as a 1.1 orifice. So right now this one is running at 1.25 uh, orifice. As you can see here. Before we start the experiment, I just want to uh, point out that this thing is 7 liters per minute rated at 30 to 120 bar with a max pressure of 135 bar. I'm going to compute that to PSI real quick. 7 liters per minute is 1.85 gallons per minute. We need to run this within this pressure so that it doesn't draw too much current and it doesn't strain the pump. If I see the pump getting overworked, if I see the pressure, you know, above operating temp operating pressure i'm gonna stop so hopefully it doesn't again for maximum suds we're using honey juice foam from chemical guys this thing has been amazing so we're gonna use so this is metric we're gonna use 100 ml just 100 ml i don't want to use 200 that's too much that's too much we have 100 we're just going to fill this up with water and then we're going to split it to the two bottles. Filled to 1 liter, 500 ml, 500 ml. So the point of this video really is I want to get maximum suds out of this foam cannon right there. If this performs well, I'm going to swap out the orifice with the included one to here and all is a happy day. If not, then... That sucks. We're gonna rinse down the whole car so we have a wet surface and then we're just gonna blast it here with this black part right here so you can see if it's thick or not. You be the judge and I'll be the judge for my own preference. First up, we have MTM. This is the max setting. Fan pattern, close. This is the tightest that it can do. Let's hit it up. MTM. Look at that amount of foam there. It smells so good. On to the next one. I forgot to mention what pressure this thing is running, so here we go. Yeah. 
the low 1500 psi so max pressure for the pressure washer is 1900 something so 15 is still within the limits um this is looking good next up we have china and the detailed image orifice right there inside so let's see how much this phones up this is turned all the way to the maximum fan pattern i'll adjust it later but first let's see the pressure mtm was 1005 barely shy of 15 this one is so remember our maximum is 1900 if it goes over that i'm cutting the power it's gonna draw too much current and destroy oh no not destroy it's premature aware of the pump here we go one two three So that's around 1,600 or barely shy of 1,700. We are good. Let's see how much foam that produces. Okay, foaming round two. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I think we have our answer. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the orifice on the PF22. Update for the everything here. I swap out the orifices. And now we're gonna test the pressure. Whoa, it's it's higher. See that? This is near 1,800 psi. So I think it's gonna foam a lot better. Here we go. Oh. Oh my. Holy sh I'm gonna start foaming now. So in conclusion, foam. Okay guys, just remember, if you're gonna do this, make sure that your pump is get capable of handling that pressure. If not, don't do it. You're gonna trip off your breaker, you're gonna destroy the pump earlier, and you're gonna be sad. And the goal is not to be sad. Home is beautiful. I hope this one's helpful. I hope this can help you decide what to do. So until then, time to wash. Bye.